day three, personal hair care or personal care products. So I want you to go through the bathroom. Now, if you see anything with sodium lauryl sulfate, that's not, not good at all. Throw that out. And think of this, anything you put on your skin is gonna get into your body. So it's ideal. Now, this is one of the soaps that we use. I mean, and you can just read the ingredients. If you can understand what the ingredients are, water, organic coconut oil, potassium hydroxide, but then palm oil, olive oil, organic hemp oil, jojoba oil. So we're talking just normal, normal things. Here's a night cream that my, my, my wife made. Shea butter, coconut oil, primrose oil. Look at all the different oils in here. And she literally put this in a food processor and grinds it up. This is the deodorant. Yeah, I know it seems simple, but it's very, very simple. You're talking arrowroot powder, baking soda, and coconut oil. And you can even drop a little essential oil in there. Watch the essential oils, because if you use too much, it can actually burn the skin. It can be uncomfortable. So I like it even without the essential oils, and it works fantastic. You want a good um, moisturizing cream? Pure coconut oil. It works fantastically well. To rinse your mouth, okay, a hydro, uh, food grade hydrogen peroxide and essential oils. Very, very simple stuff. Baking, baking soda for toothpaste. There's so many things that are subtle, that are endocrine receptors, that, that, that damage your hormones because they're chemicals. And there's a way to brush your teeth, rinse your teeth, wash your hair, wash your skin, use deodorant without being exposed to chemicals particularly when you look at the room sprays that they're using, like Lysol or um, the Febreze. These are chemicals that assault your senses. They don't clean the air, they poison your environment. If you want to clean up the air, use essential oils, essential oils on your body, but make healthy choices. Start to read the label. If it's something you can't pronounce, it's probably not a good idea to put it in your skin. And since you wash every day and brush your teeth a couple of times a day, make sure you're utilizing healthy products. No fluoride, no chemicals, no creams, none of that stuff in your, your products and your body's gonna respond by giving you healthy hormone production. Start reading the labels, but enjoy it. Make your own stuff. It's actually fun to make deodorant. Let's have a deodorant party. When we made this, this uh, type of cream, it was fun. I came home and there were like four people around the food processors putting different oils in there, trying it and putting it in there. It's actually fun. Put forth the effort and you get to have a good time. Enjoy. This was a fun day three.